it's Jonah here once again back with a beer review we're going to do one from the beer on trend magazine and uh, yeah it might be worthwhile looking at this because Brugada does have an article in here which tells you a little bit about them and about the beer we're going to do which is this the Brugada cold ipa what is a cold ipa um well according to brew gooder now nobody has actually kind of come up with what a cold ipa actually is but they've said i'm reading from this um cold ipa is an ipa using lager yeast uh at cold temperature so it's basically a malt bill um and i guess the hopping of an ipa um but made with lager yeast interesting um let us have a look on the can and let's see what it says because it's got a whole load of information uh brugada we believe that the beer can can be a force for good that's why since uh 2016 every one of our beers um has been brewed on purpose to empower, empower indeed the life of others. Um, scan the QR code if you would like to know more. Um, Brugada from Glasgow. Um, and basically, what they do, Brugada or Gooda? That's why they've got Gooda in their title. Um, yeah, they give water or help purification of water for people that wouldn't have it so kind of third world countries and that kind of thing shame on to you guys and i think i've had some brew gooder stuff in the past right so let's see what it says oh cold ipa it's an easy drinking cold ipa brewed with west coast hops bursting with citrus zest and balanced against the maltiness um this beer makes waves with every can supporting people and communities around the world we've got water we've got barley wheat hops and yeast it's fresh and breezy it says um and reading subtly over here on the screen we've got columbus summit and cascade been a while since we've had cascade um pale wheat malt some pilsner malt uh carotene and there's torrified rice which is interesting it doesn't mention anything about rice on here interesting all do they mean wheat torrified wheat i don't know let us get this bad boy in a glass and i know dear viewer i have forgotten to do my famous shot the most famous the now legendary shot me holding the beer can basically because i've forgotten there we go now what's the abv 5.5 it even says so on there so that is pretty good so it is ipa standard nothing session about this bad boy uh, fluffy white clouds we've got at least two fingers that bad boy and we've got a bit of citrus a bit of lemony maybe hmm. could that be the cascade kind of peach weird thing that i haven't had for ages because people have moved over to citra no citra in this bad boy So assuming the information is correct, we have Cascade. Yeah, if you can see, but I can definitely see through there. We've got a tiny bit of haze to it, but this has been there's a carbonation, man. The carbonation is pretty damn good. Um, that's where all that head came from, I guess. <coughs> and I can do with a beer today because, yeah, I had an interview um and i don't think it went very well um 
the person, the interviewer, um, kept asking for experience and questions. Like, it was a developmental thing that I was trying to do. Um, and it was a classic. When have you got experience of exactly the same job, exactly the same thing, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it's a developmental thing and meant to just take a step up. So of course I don't have the experience because I'm not at that level, I'm next level down. So yeah, I don't think I get that, but uh, it is what it is. And anyway, such a thing could force a man to drink. Cheers and beers to you all. And your loving Uncle Johnny. Oh. Now, this has definitely got an IPA bite, like a West Coast style IPA, but it also has that lagery thing as well, um, which is interesting considering. It's a lager yeast with IPA hops. It does have a quite clean, crisp, upfront bitterness in your face. Boom! But there's not much going on after that. So, um, weird. It's got a lot of upfront hops, but it doesn't have as much secondary hops. So. I don't think there's that much in the dry hop, if anything at all. There's a lot of kind of citrus here, um, but a tiny bit of kind of juiciness as well. But it's so dry because of the uh, yeast they've used. Is it just coming from the dry finish is that causing the the juiciness in my mouth or what was it again columbus summits hmm. if you wanted to be full on ipa you would have done a triple c instead of summit maybe centennial something like that who knows but yeah interesting very very interesting but because it has got some sort of lager stuff in, it is a little bit thin, a little bit, a little bit one dimensional. Let's go in for some more, guys. Come on. Oh, again, bitter up front. Lemony. Not tropical at all. It's like, yeah, it's like lemony. It, I mean, juicy fruit perhaps, but we're talking about things, sharp things, lemon, lime, um, possibly grapefruit, that kind of thing. Mm, it's, it's interesting. Flavours that I haven't had for a while. So, Brugooda. You've gone kind of more old school, West Coast style, as opposed to modern style, which is nice. Ooh. That carbonation was always going to catch up on me, dear viewer. I do apologise. But it's one of those things that does happen when you drink beer. Look at that. That's a lovely colour, a very, very lovely colour. But it's all too kind of too lager like. Is that what an I, a cold IPA is supposed to be? I don't think so. And what is it anyway? It's a bit like a brute IPA. Do you remember those? They were around for all of five minutes before they imploded and went away. A little bit like that. Yeah, it's all it's all sharp. It's all up front. It's front end loaded. How about that? Um, so if you like something that's reasonably bitter, quite lager like, 
Um, this could be your bag. I don't know if that's for me, really. I've never really been a lager kind of dude. But all good are. But, yeah, I can see that some people would like this. Um, as to the style, the whole cold IPA, not sure. I'm really not sure about this one. Anyway, dear viewer, we have gone over 10 minutes. I better get it cracking. Um, I will see what happens next. Cheers and beers, guys. We'll see you for another fantastic beer review real soon. Cheers and beers.